You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi friends, John Willard here, the gentleman poet, storyteller, and NACA contributor. Back for another show and more bone chilling truth. It's cold here in the Ozarks, but the hot apple cider that I hold in my hands, oh, it tantalizes the senses. Inside our house, soup is simmering as the vegetables from summer's harvest mix with the fresh herbs and the spices. Life gets even better. Next week, chili on the stove and stew the week after that. And the trips down memory lane as sunrise breaks into daylight. I smile. One more sip of apple cider and my day will begin. I'm glad to have had these moments. I'm thankful for the peace of this morning. Let me share my feelings listening to the stories of real treasure. Let me share. The family is a little book. The children are the leaves. The parents are the cover that safe protection gives. At first the pages of the book are blank and smooth and fair, but time soon writeth memories and painteth pictures there. Love is the golden clasp that bindeth up the trust. Oh, break it not, lest all the leaves shall scatter like the dust. Oh, the real treasure. Families. I say to you, enlarge my heart with a story and change me by the characters I meet there. So I'm glad to say the pups and I were up at 4 a.m. this morning after food for the pups and oatmeal and coffee for me. We took in the sights and the sounds of the Ozarks. Mm. Life is now in session. Are you present? This show is about real treasure. Friends, <clears throat> a little boy was helping his father move some books out of an attic into more spacious quarters downstairs. It was important to this little boy that he was helping his dad, even though he was probably getting in the way and slowing things down more than he was actually assisting. But that boy had a wise and patient father who knew it was more important to work at a task with his young son than it was to move a pile of books efficiently. Among the man's books, however, were some rather large study books, and it was a chore for the little boy to get them down the stairs. As a matter of fact, on one large load, the boy dropped his books several times. Finally, he sat down on the steps and wept in frustration. He wasn't doing any good at all. <laughs> he wasn't strong enough to carry the big books down the narrow stairway. It hurt him to think he couldn't do this for his daddy. Without a word, the father picked up and dropped 
the loaded books, put them in the boy's arms. He scooped up the boy also into his arms and carried all of that down the stairs. So they continued for load after load, both enjoying each other's company very much. The boy carrying the books, the dad carrying the boy. Now here was a man who recognized the real treasure. With that, the gentleman poet would like to share this poem about a child back to his daddy. Walk a little plainer, daddy. I know that once you walked this way many years ago, and what you did along the way, I'd really like to know. For sometimes when I am tempted and don't know what to do, so walk a little plainer, daddy, for I must follow you. <laughs> Another case of seeing the real treasure it had, ha it had belonged to a great-grandmother. And the little boy knew he must be careful because the vase was one of mother's dearest treasures. And she had told him so. The vase was placed high on the mantel, out of the reach of little hands. <laughs> but somehow he managed he just wanted to see if the tiny little rosebud border went all the way around the back. <laughs> he didn't realize that a boy's five-year-old hands are sometimes clumsy and not meant to hold delicate porcelain treasures. It shattered when it hit the floor and he began to cry. That cry soon became a sobbing wail, growing louder and louder. From the kitchen, his mother heard her son crying, and she came running. His footsteps hurried down the hall and came around the corner, his mother. She stopped, looked at him, and saw what he had done. Hmm. Between his sobs, he could hardly speak the words. I broke the vase. And then his mother gave him a gift. With a look of relief, his mother said, Oh, thank heavens, I thought you were hurt. And then she held him tenderly until his sobbing stopped. She made it very clear. He was the real treasure. Though now a grown man, it is a gift he still carries in his heart. Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. Friends, I'm out of time, but remember, Nagi always said, when you're good to others, you are best to yourself. You can reach me on Twitter at John Willard 47 If you want me to come to your event, well, I still have Cora May and Bubba, and you remember those sweet dogs. You know how that is. Remember, it's not what we gain, but what we give that measures the worth of the life we live. Until next time, friends.